You think you know me. The real superstar making his way towards the ring. Of course, last week we were in Nation's Capital, Washington D.C. The real superstar, along with Trish Stratus, formed a union and vowed that they would show everybody on the Raw roster, everybody in WWE for that matter, why they're the most dominant male and female combination. In the history of this industry. But right now, he's set to take on the world's strongest man. Mark Henry looking to get back in the winning column. After losing to Christian last week. Who regained the Continental title just moments ago? But right now, he's set to take on Christian's brother, the Red Old Superstar, Edge. Here we go! Try to connect with a spear right from the bell and reverse him into the corner and a drop kick to the outside. And look at the opportunities. Showing up here. Sell out crowd in the Mohegan Sun Arena. Well, if you heard me before, doing this broadcast here tonight, next Monday night's show will come to you from the home of the Hart family, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. As the road to SummerSlam continues, Hurricane Rana. Off the top turnbuckle, and Mark Henry must be feeling that one. Edge is looking to waste no time here, but I think Mark Henry has other ideas. He didn't follow up. Trying to connect with that splash. That didn't happen. What's coming up next, our feature contest. The number one contenders to the Unified Tag Team titles. Team Priceless taking on the team of John Cena and Triple H. Today's champion is in the house. So you know he's going to have his eyes glued to a TV backstage somewhere. He might come out here at some point. There's a spear by Edge. But I think that wasn't enough for him. But he spent too much time toning Mark Henry. Henry tried to go for a power bomb of sorts. That was blocked. And speaking of Randy Orton watching somewhere, I wonder if the Unified Tag Team Champions are watching somewhere. Edge! Springboard off the ropes! And there's a spear! One! Two! He got two! Could have been three. And plants Mark Henry. One, two. Is that all she wrote? Three. And three that four. will put down the world's strongest man as the Red Earth Superstar wins here again. Well, I just got word. Next week, Gail Kim, Mickey James, Molina, and oh, Natalia. Wow. In a fatal four way, the winner is the Glamazon at SummerSlam for the Women's Champion. And it looks like we're going to have our main event right now as Team Priceless making their way towards the ring. Last week, the Phoenix SmackDowns. LAX in a no more contenders tag team matchup. 
course that's stemming from the triple threat tag team match from both brands happening at the bash but team priceless in the driver's seat for SummerSlam and here comes the Zebra Assassin time to play the game Well, Triple H last week thought that he had the time to beat against Rey Mysterio in a return match from a couple weeks ago but his tag team partner, John Cena, defied the odds and set his own time after Christian spoiled Triple H's hopes of getting a one-on-one -on -one match against Randy Orton. So now Triple H is about to wait in line like everybody else that wants a shot at the Viper. Randy Orton. We're glad you joined us here tonight for this edition of Monday Night Raw. As I've said before, next Monday night we come to you from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. You're not going to want to miss that. As the road of SummerSlam continues. And all the news and happenings you will hear right here on Monday Night Raw. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow night to ECW. And here comes the number one contender to the WWE Championship. To find the odds at the Great American Bash, defeating Rey Mysterio, the man that cost him the title at the King of the Ring, he gets another shot and re reclaiming the WWE Championship. And he gets that shot at SummerSlam. Okay, Triple H and Ted DiBiase. It's going to kick things off with their respective teams. You know Bill Money Incorporated is watching Team Priceless during this match. And Triple H gets clotheslined over the top. And of course, Randy Orton watching this match. Seeing what damage is done to John Cena. John Cena doing some punches to the back of the head of DiBiase. Drop kick does not connect. The game rolls back into the ring. And now does DiBiase, but he gets caught up in the ropes. Huge right hand supplied by the game. And the Seabro Assassin is looking to take his time. Pick his spots and pick on the body parts of both DiBiase and Rose. Headlock takedown. Rolls him up. Too close to the ropes. Tim White has been a busy man here tonight. And he's calling this main event here tonight. We're here in Connecticut, home of the Connecticut Sun, home of the Mohegan Sun, Casino and Resort. One. Quick one count for Triple H. Triple H does not want to wear himself out here, trying to take on Team Priceless by himself, perhaps want to send a message to Randy Orton. They lock up. And it's an elbow shot. And over the top goes Triple H. And Triple H might be in trouble this time. Because he's on the wrong side of the ring here. And there's John Cena. Well, too little, too late. Well, perhaps not because Cody Rhodes is having his hands on the game right now. Team Priceless might want to not take a page out of the Hurt Dynasty book. They didn't use teamwork in their two-on-one handicap match. But in this case, this is two-on-two. -two. But cutting off the ring is most certainly seems like a handicap match. 
back in the ring. Triple H now. Headlock takedown. Picks him up with a scoop slam. And Triple H. Brown was going outside. Thought about it. Close line. This time, Triple H does not go over the top. Rolls him up. Too close to the ropes. Close team price. Dream Street. Dream Street. Locked in on the game. But it's going to take more than that to get Triple H to tap out here. And Triple H is in trouble right now.